So welcome back to another episode of The VoIP, guys. Uh, now, as promised, um, we are going to start actually adding some devices to our Asterix server today. Um, so what that means is uh, we're going to add a, a SNOM telephone that we've mm -hmm. got on the desk, and we're also going to add a uh, soft phone. Now, Matthias, why are we going to add a soft phone? Um, because it's cheap. It's cheap, okay. So that <laughs> Maybe it does cost nothing. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, it's good uh, for testing purposes, whatever, you can uh, integrate as many as you want, um, mm. and you don't have to pay for the hardware and so on, because you can get uh, free ones online, mm -hmm. such as... You know, X-Lite is a, a good a soft phone to test because mm -hmm. it's uh, platform independent. Mm -hmm. You can use it on almost every platform yeah, for testing. Um, Another good telephone for the Mac is Telephone. Yeah, it's called which, Telephone. You can download <laughs> it from the App Store. Yeah. From the App Store, it, yeah. um, it's also for free. Mm -hmm. um, it's not good as productive, productive okay. uh, soft phone, mm -hmm. but it's very cool for testing because you can enable as much lines as you want to. And That's you useful. They're all in separate windows, mm -hmm. and you can build scenarios where you can test yeah one call um, to another peer and so on. Okay, so you can basically put as many peers in as you want. Um, I don't know as many as you want, as but many as your machine is able to start. Yeah. I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't know exactly, but I did never um, enter a limit. Okay, so, fair enough. So where do we start with adding uh, devices, peers to our server? Yeah, the first thing is that we have uh, to learn our asterisk server, mm -hmm. what peers we want okay. and what peers to register. Right. So okay. we make an entry on the asterisk server and then we register the telephone mm -hmm. to that peer. Okay. And we need at least two peers because we want to make a telephone call from one phone to, to another. the other. Yeah. So, so we need two peers for two testing. Two peers. Okay. So it's going to go to the machine. Use Jan here, our iPad. Yeah. Film technician is gone, we've got an iPad instead now. Yeah. <laughs> That's very cheap now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, we are um, on the console, back on our console. Um, we are logged in as root as mm. usual, yeah. and um, we are on our server, and the network is prepared yeah. out of our last Which tutorial. we did last time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, the first thing is we log into our asterisk console, and we say zip show peers. What you get here is nothing. Yeah. So there is no peer mm -hmm. and we have to create them. Okay. How can we do that? We go out of here. Every configuration about peers and zip in general mm -hmm. is done in the zip.conf, which okay. is under etc, um, in the etc asterisk directory. Right. Okay. So we go there and we have a quick look into the zip.conf. And you can see it's huge. I can start scrolling mm -hmm. 1%, 2%, 3%. Wow. So we will not go through the, the whole, whole no. no, because <laughs> we're running out of time then. But you've got a tip here, haven't you? Yeah. First of all, um, what is this and why is this so large? Mm -hmm. um, they put the whole documentation of the config file into the config file. Right, yeah. So our sense. problem mm -hmm. is there are some lines which are important and mm -hmm. which are doing some configurations, mm -hmm. but there are somewhere in there and we don't mm -hmm. know where they are. Where they are. Mm -hmm. So most people are starting with an empty file mm -hmm. and putting in the things they want to. Yeah. But if you want to learn asterisk, mm -hmm. then it would be very interesting for you mm -hmm. what is configured per default yeah. and what should I add then. Mm -hmm. So I show you a little trick. You just copy zipconf to zipconf org. Mm -hmm. And if you want to read the documentation and stuff, then just go to the copy. Yeah, the zip.conf.org. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then we go back to that file. And now we use the magic of VI. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have to learn it, but it is very powerful then. Um, we can say globally we want to um, delete something mm -hmm. and if it starts, if the line starts, that means that sign. Mm -hmm. um, and if there is a space, yep. one space or no space mm -hmm. or as many spaces yep. as we want. Mm -hmm. And then um, it is a comment. As a description of some sort. Yeah. Then we want to delete that line. So we throw them away. Yeah, you can see there that there's 1427 lines yeah. have been removed. That's a, a huge documentation. That's a good thing because mm -hmm. they have a lot of documentation. Yeah. But now it's ripped out. Mm -hmm. We still have 128 lines. Yeah. And we have a lot of um, lines where it's nothing in there. White space. White spaces. We mm -hmm. can remove them also. We say, 
if a line starts and if a line ends immediately, mm -hmm. then it seems to be empty. Okay. So we can delete them. And that's it. Now we have the, I don't know, 28 lines, yep. which are really important and really configuration lines in that file. Okay, so what does this all show us? Yeah. Um, we will have a general section. Mm -hmm. This is an important section there you do all the general stuff. Um, and you can say, in general, I want parameter A, B to mm -hmm. set to blah, blah. Okay. And in other contexts, you can then say, no, I want for that peer, I want something different. Okay. But it's a good idea to have a, a general configuration, mm -hmm. with, which um, is good for you. Yeah. And um, some parameters are only um, for the general section. Okay. Um, the first example is the um, bind uh, other is on which address of my server should the zip stack listen. Okay. Um, and this is on every IP address I have. Mm -hmm. And this is a general parameter. You right. cannot change it in every context because it's set yeah. one time. Yeah. And then it's okay. Makes sense. Um, the first thing we see, um, the UDP bind other is enabled. Mm -hmm. and TCP is disabled. What's that? Mm -hmm. SIP in general is in most cases UDP. Mm -hmm. The signaling and the transport, mm -hmm. also the voice, is in UDP. Um, you can change that um, to TCP. Yep. Asterisk can do so. Mm -hmm. um, we can make another tutorial about uh, TCP, yep. the advantages, security. Mm -hmm. It's In many cases it's better, yep. uh, but um, many uh, devices are not supporting. Yeah. Um, but we don't need that right now, so we that can be an need it. We just tutorial. skip it. Mm -hmm. But the uh, most important um, configuration setting here is um, the UDP bind adder. Okay. Um, we want to add one. That's qualify. Yes. And what does this one do? Um, in normal case, if you register a phone to asterisk, mm -hmm. He says, hello phone, thank you for registering, and that's it. Doesn't really care. He doesn't really care. He does okay. not monitor okay. um, the telephone. If you say qualify yes, mm -hmm. then Asterisk tries to qualify how fast can I reach that phone. If it's available, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, is it available, mm -hmm. blah, blah. And if it does not fit our needs, mm -hmm. then he disables that peer. Okay. If it gets too slow and so on. Yeah. You can do many detailed settings about qualifying, mm -hmm. but in general, we use the default settings and say just yes, mm -hmm. and then it qualifies it. Okay. And the default is a very good default. So a, a useful little monitoring yeah. tool there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then uh, here we have some special things. Um, those are macros. Mm -hmm. You can use those macros uh, in other contexts mm -hmm. and but just include it. Yeah. But they're not used if, if they are just here and not included in other contexts, then they are just ignored. Okay. So it does not matter for our configuration. We can just um, leave them as they are. Mm -hmm. And then we create a peer for you and for me. The first peer name is James. And the first thing is to say, are you a friend or not? You are a friend. Yay. <laughs> You are a friend. What does this mean? Uh, this mean um, we have peers and clients and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and normally uh, you can say this is a client. He is only allowed to send calls. A peer is receiving calls. Mm -hmm. Friend means both directions. Okay. So we are receiving and sending yeah. calls, and that's a good setting for a telephone because yeah, you want needs to. That, yeah. You need that. Yeah. You need. You will need that. Um, then you need a context. In any case, otherwise you will use the default context. Um, I will explain that later. Yeah, that will come into our sort of um, call flow. Call uh, dial, the dial plan dial section. Plans, if yeah. you're talking about dial plans, mm -hmm. we need that because a dial plan also has yeah. contexts. Mm -hmm. um, we will explain that later on. So just trust me, you will need it. Okay. Um, then you need to allow um, some codecs, usual, a law, and uh, ULaw and ALaw. And these are the standard codecs. Um, mm -hmm. They're not high definition. They're just standard for ISDN. Right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. an ISDN codec. Um, there are two different codecs. Mm -hmm. um, depends on which country you're living. Yeah. But uh, it's not so important. So we just enable them. What is a codec? If you have your natural speech, yep. it's analog. Your mm -hmm. speech is still course, analog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to um, convert it to IP. Okay. And the codec is the method. Right. You convert it from 
the natural speech okay. to the IP. And if, say, for example, I had uh, um, a high definition uh, audio handset, like in the Yealing reviews yeah, I did yeah, last yeah. time, mm -hmm. uh, what codec would I need here? Um, a G722. Okay. It's a high definition codec. There are some other high definition codecs. Mm -hmm. um, we can make another tutorial about codecs. Later where on. you can play around with them. Cool. But um, for starting, that's okay. Um, the next thing we need is a secret. We need to register uh, to the asterisk server and therefore we have to provide a mm -hmm. secret. Our secret is very secret, that's one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. And that's the baddest idea. Yeah. Just plain text password. Asterisk is able um, to make many sorts of passwords, mm -hmm. MD5 hashed passwords, um, start TLS, yeah. blah, blah, and so on. Um, we won't uh, use it for our testing. Oh. We will make another tutorial about okay. asterisk security. So this is so basically on. the simplest form of, of, of yeah. identification. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So we just put it in there. Mm -hmm. And the next thing is we need the parameter host. And we put in there dynamic. That means we do not know what IP address mm -hmm. our SNOM phone or our soft phone will have. Mm -hmm. um, it just will register yep. and tell the asterisk server what IP it has. Okay. So if you want that, then you just type in dynamic. If you have fixed addresses mm -hmm. or you have not, uh, you have a peer which is not the phone but the provider, yep. um, zip provider, then you could enter um, the fixed, IP, the fixed address. IP address or you can then register. It's too much for now. so. For now, that is okay. Then we need another peer, because if you're alone, you can't it's make not, it as cool. Yeah, it's, it's not so much fun. No. <laughs> so I will also be a friend. Then I define a context phones. This can be the same context. We will see later on why, mm -hmm. but for now, just trust me. Hello. The codex, the secret. I want another secret because you never know. <laughs> and the host is dynamic. Yep. Oh, typo. Dynamic. That's it. Save that up. Save that. Then we uh, again, I'm not able to type any longer. <laughs> <laughs> um, we go again to the asterisk console and here we say zip show peers and no peers at all. <laughs> Why is this? Um, asterisk does not read uh, the file immediately. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. You have to say now I have finished um, yeah. the changes. So you can't do live changes mm -hmm. and uh, go wrong and things mm -hmm. like that. Okay, so you have to say now zip reload. Then he reloads the files. Mm -hmm. If you have any errors in your files, then you will be informed now. Okay. Because he's passing now our zip.conf, mm -hmm. and if we did a mistake there, he will warn us now. Right. So now we should have those peers, zip show peers. Now you can see we both are, there. are lucky peers now. Mm -hmm. um, and we are, the host is not specified, our status is unknown, so mm -hmm. we're not registered at all. Yeah. The next thing we do is we go to our SNOM phone and try to register. We failed in the last uh, yeah, video, <laughs> uh, um, but now we try it again. Yeah. Uh, our display name is not important. You can put in there whatever you want. Mm -hmm. It's just displayed. If you're calling the other peer, then he will read in his display your display name. Yeah. Um, the account is important. Yeah, this one's case sensitive, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it's the name which you put in brackets, yeah. the peer name. Mm -hmm. um, it's case sensitive also, yes. And then we have to enter the password. And then we have to enter where we want to register. This is the IP address of our asterisk server. We say apply. Save. And now we have a notice that the peer James is now reachable. And here we can say, uh, see it's reachable in four milliseconds. And if it's slower than that, mm -hmm. he will say it's not reachable, even if it is reachable, but it is too slow. This is the default value. Okay. And here you can see now James has that IP. Yep. Because of the dynamic um, host, 
we are sending our IP address and he's storing it here. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see the communication port, um, which is used for uh, the payload then. And you can see that asterisk monitors now yep. the phone. If I plug the phone off, um, it takes a little while. Mm -hmm. and I think every 30 seconds or every 60 seconds, I don't know the default value. Okay. It checks if the phone is still available. All right, okay. And he will mm -hmm. be registered. Yeah. So this is the first step. The second step is we will start telephone. This is the application I told you. And there we can add as many accounts as we want to. Mm -hmm. Full name, Matthias. Sometimes it's called domain, but mm. what we're talking about is the asterisk server IP address. We have a username. And now my special secret password. So secure. Mm -hmm. And now my phone is available. Here is my phone. And if you have more phones, as I told you before, um, then you just get lots of those boxes. Cool. Again here. Sip show peers. You see, my phone is faster than yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> ah, now, why is this? Um, because here is a network in between, yeah. and there is no network in between. You could also say this is very, uh, this is not very fast for an ICMP package. If mm -hmm. you're using ping or something, then mm -hmm. you send ICMP packages. But that's not true in that case because you're sending a SIP option, and mm -hmm. the speed here means the whole run through the whole SIP stack. Okay. Um, so you're sending a SIP option mm -hmm. package to the to the device, and then mm -hmm. it sends back a package. Mm -hmm. The whole run through the SIP stack takes six, six milliseconds or one millisecond. Okay. So that's um, yeah, just for the explanation. Then you could have the idea that you now just can dial something. Yeah. You can, but nothing happens. <laughs> it says call from Matthias to extension one hundred rejected because extension not found in context, there are, again, those yeah. mysterious contexts mm -hmm. um, phones. Okay. So we cannot talk to each other. Both peers are registered. Mm -hmm. And what we now need is the dial plan. Okay. But that's, that's for, next, uh, for our future next episode. tutorial. OK, yeah. so there you have it. Next tutorial will be dial plans. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you want more information, please visit our website, uh, www.pascom.net. Um, until next time, goodbye. Bye.